Welcome back to Thomas is Alone at GDPG. Yeah, GDPG. We're paused right now because we're about to enter more dialogue. Oh, so get ready for this. Parts. All right. So this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. <laughs> what a great start Jump. to a character. Rubbish at jumping. And she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The and crumbling my pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. No, 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 Claire. no, no, uh. What? What? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was what? not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Hell yeah, she I does. Love that. I love that moment. Oh, so That's good. That's a Claire realized. Claire realized she had superpowers. It's, and it's not like, I can Hattie. swim. It's, Couldn't I have superpowers. Super yeah, right. Claire didn't want confusion. It's like, oh, yeah. You, you saw a cape. That cape. made matters clear. You knew what you were doing. Oh, this was weird. Claire was all about communication. <laughs> and, uh, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I love the moment of acceptance too. Yeah, like right? it takes her no time to yeah, be like, like, "I'm a friggin' awesome." Like you on water, you on water, John. Are you a swimmer? No, John, you ain't a swimmer. You can jump. <laughs> Claire is Claire is our, my favorite Dude, character Claire's so one far. Claire is my though. favorites too. They're not my skinny friends, for I am Claire. <laughs> oh, Claire! I, I keep calling her Clara. Me. It's Claire. Yeah, it is Claire. Just yeah, like God, she accepts it so okay. quick. It's perfect. I think it's just so good. It was rubbish. Perfect. They should make a Thomas was alone Jenga, and you just have like all the different sides. It'd be the worst Jenga ever. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to be like, you, so, well, yeah, if you randomly I'm get... not going to take any Johns out. They're all. <laughs> well, no, you take out a John oh, so John. that, yeah, so have so that whoever gets Clara next or Claire next Claire it just gets just wrecked. Oh, man, I remember the first time I played this. I just I messed up a couple of times. Yeah, this this is where the game actually starts getting a little, a little bit more challenging. Difficult. It's not super challenging, but oh, right, I actually have to do stuff. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Right. yeah, it'd be helpful if you actually played the game. Right, I got a moron. Do so it's also really interesting to me that Claire can move while she's in the water and has someone on her, but she cannot move if she's on like solid ground. No, she cannot. Um, which is contrary the to the rest of the rise. game, actually. Yeah, how cool that is! Do the tilt there, the everything. It has many yeah. As it took. I don't remember what game engine this is built in. It might be Unity. Um, I know the prototype was built in Flash, but I don't think the finished finish game path, was. Yeah. Thomas would make a good sidekick. <laughs> or was she more the lone Avenger type? <laughs> there it is again, man, talking so about like how they the can use Thomas, but not yeah, actually not interact with him. Interact with Thomas. And it's interesting too because we haven't gotten to this point yet, but we do see how the actual relationships are established between oh, characters. Yeah, I think that's actually probably my favorite part of this game. Oh well, yeah. Um, the whole thing with uh, with Chris and um, I don't remember her name, but we'll we'll get there. Don't we'll worry, guys. We'll, we'll we'll get there, and it's well worth it. Well, I just I feel like I have like a kinship with Chris because I know I mean I think everyone kind of knows what it's like to not be good at something. Staircases were a bit of a fixture here. But how do you, like, argue with Claire's, like... Well, I, I feel like... Positive nature. Well, Claire... See, the thing is, Claire is actually depressed. Yes. Um, yes. And suddenly she gets something to latch onto, something worth yeah. latching onto. And so that's why I think she is an interesting character, because um, if she didn't have that superpower... Then she would she'd still be feel. Yeah, she would. Like, she would die. be depressed, and she. Oop, uh, that was you too soon. Want to do that. But she wouldn't feel like she has any reason to exist. Yes. She was ready true. for death at she the introduction was. of her character, um, and it's actually really sad. And it's, I think it's relatable because I think a lot of people have gone through similar you feelings. Know, you, you just feel like you know you're not. You're not good at anything. It? You're not worth it. Yeah. Worth anything. And, then and all of a sudden, you find out you're awesome at something and you can do what no one else can i mean that's i don't think that 
happens off as often as it should, though, is is sort of. Not thing. really people. I'm just talking about this instance oh, specifically. Yeah. Like you know, she gets that moment like that a lot of people I think hope to get. Yes, you that's. Know? I think that's exactly um, what I'm. I'm trying to get everyone at. Everyone hopes that they're going to find discover that one some thing. magical yeah. thing about themselves that like no one else can do, or that yeah. And but, I think all of us run that search. And and the other thing about it too is that oftentimes it's it takes that that thing that makes you feel yeah. special to pull you out of that kind of depression. Um, it's a rough one to be in because you just feel like there's some. I mean, I feel like any depression is really hard to deal with, but when when it's about like not feel like you're good at anything it's like what yeah i mean in this in this world you are only to find out what you're, what good, you're at. good at yeah. <laughs> a nemesis a villain who would show their true colors Sorry. at the worst possible moment hurting all she held dear god i love this, this development the most obvious choice <laughs> stroppy enough and his <laughs> jump was so pathetic that it conveniently <laughs> avoided claire's insecurities at, at the same time, it also... Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. I bet I call you that. The Diabolical Christopher. <laughs> I'm pretty fiendish. You're pretty fiendish. That makes sense. Well, it works for you. I'll take it. I'll take you it. You swing into it. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll change my, uh, my internet, uh, what, tag to, uh, Diabolical Chris. Yeah, Diabolical Chris, the fiendish one. It's better than one. it's better than what I originally considered, which was just like hipster Chris. Well, I mean, you're a hipster. I am a hipster. That's how it makes you diabolical, really. That's fair. All I think, hipsters I think are, hipsters diabolical. are diabolical. Yeah, I mean, I'm not making any kind of generalization here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Of course, now that I I've like released to the internet that I originally was like maybe I'll be hipster Chris. Yeah, that you're kinda, not hipster anymore. That kind of sounds fun. Well, the, it's simultaneously not hipster, but even more hipster than hipster would be. And it's like ah damn it. But I was like somewhere plotting Claire's downfall. A hipster has so many negative connotations to it. Yeah, that right. I'm like eh. and she had to be because she was a superhero. <laughs> like like uh, it has to be. So I think there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross <laughs> well that okay so that's good that's that actually is going to lead me to the point i was going to make is yeah. what what happens to claire the moment there stops being water yeah right i think uh i think that will happen and suddenly she's going to and, go back to her yeah, state of depression and what's really interesting is that like claire does a lot of people i think when you see at least like movies or television shows people who have problems once they find out they're good at something, and someone else is bad at something. Like, look at Chris, right? She made fun of Chris, mm -hmm. but she was someone who didn't feel like she had any purpose before. Yeah. And all of a sudden... Oh, she can move. She's starting to, like, paint this on other people. Now she's starting to be, like, the bully after she feels like maybe she could have been, like, the bullied. Right? She's she's almost because like... she couldn't jump anymore. Like, she... she wasn't like everyone else and now she has something else it's like oh chris he can't do anything he's a block like everybody else but he can't jump he's high. not special like yeah. i am yeah no i think that's that is really interesting because that does happen a lot with yeah. real people too um I think it does yeah huh yeah maybe maybe that's something else important to Ooh, point out is just like over water eh? <laughs> Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations Ooh. of the little posse. I think I took all the Claire ways with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Although I lost Thomas one. Son of a bitch! You got this, Chris. You got this. Now you don't got this. What? What? <laughs> that would have been so cool if that worked. Oh, damn it. Dude, you're just like... He's too flowy. No. <laughs> No. So in this in this instance, John is like Nathan. He's just a big old noodle that you can't really control. He's just not good at anything. <laughs> I hope I hope Intangible sees this. Oh, we'll make sure. We, well, once we tell him about it, he'll be like, "All right, I'll watch this." No, like, Thomas. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, you you you're great, Thomas. <laughs> Whoop. You 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 the man, Thomas. You oh, well, I'm not <laughs> just, Claire. Just like, I'm not Claire. Just, this is the one thing I will always whoop. really well. You know we haven't talked about. Get them all hmm. across. Hold on, hold on. John yeah. Was fully aware he could do this alone. <clears throat> Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Boom. No way. No Boom. way. So we haven't Bro. talked about it yet. Um, we have talked about off camera. Is this is the first time we have a really big shift in color? Oh yes. Claire. Um. Oh. 
And we don't, we, we may not even necessarily realize how significant that is right now. Yeah. Um, because like, so far we see mostly colors in the red palette. Um, yeah. And obviously we're sort of going toward orange. What color is this guy? Like, he, he's not really like a yellow, but he's like a, gr he's like a greenish yellow. yellow. So like dark yellow? Yeah, it's kind of like a, a like an off gold. Oops. So, the interesting thing is, so far we've seen mostly yellows or reds or combinations thereof. Yeah. Claire legitimately stands out from the crowd because she's blue, and she's so far blue. we've seen no one else that's if she blue. Was green, she would die. <laughs> I don't think that's uh, actually how that song goes. I don't care. That's how it goes in my head. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, this is a fun level because this is Claire's great. alone. Yep, was alone. <laughs> Which was odd. Because Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Wallace. You're the best. <laughs> he needed to be where there were rectangles to save. <laughs> there are rectangles to save, indeed. The but only superhero <clears throat> in a given space <clears throat> kind of defeats the object. <laughs> but it's interesting because it actually. That was new. Claire yes. avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not I think the they're everyone's kryptonite, Claire. Yeah, right. I think anyone. Stuff. So, okay. it's, it's interesting because, um, why was it interesting? I lost my train of thought. Well, maybe you can pick up your train of thought on the next episode. Deja vu, no. Oh, okay, no, actually, I want to finish this. Oh, so, it's interesting because it, it reiterates the theme of the game. It's, the game is Thomas was alone. Suddenly, Claire was alone. Um, and while it's not the same kind of alone, it's sort of re-delivering the same theme and reinforcing that it's it's something we need to be aware of. Aware of, yes. Plotting against them. Although this entire sequence was interesting because finally had a nemesis. This this sequence is interesting too because it literally is the same level except with another character it's not, now. It makes it so much different. Um, it makes it different, but also like in terms of narrative, it, yep. it tells us that something weird is actually going on here, um, where it's kind of like maybe Claire being here alone was actually kind of a, a glitch, like it wasn't yeah, supposed, it wasn't to, supposed happen, to happen, but it did. But it did. So maybe Claire's superpower is more than what meets the eye. But oh. anyway. We'll, uh, we'll continue this in the next episode. Yeah, what's the question of the day? Question of the day. I want to ask about color choices and characters and what you guys think that the color choices so far have represented in the characters yeah. or if they mean anything. Because with Claire, we feel like it, it makes her stand out from the crowd. And blue is generally associated with depression as well. So it kind of works hand in hand. Now, for the other characters like Chris or Thomas, what do you think that those colors might reflect in those in those personalities? I think that's a good question. Cool. Well, thank sure. you for watching. Be sure to vote if you want to see us to keep playing yeah. Thomas is Alone and then vote what you want us to watch next. Yeah. They change every episode-ish. So. And you'll be stuck with us. Yeah. Yeah. Except not necessarily. Okay, fine. I won't be here. Bye, everybody. My superpowers. Oh. Oh, yeah. Whatever, nerd. <laughs> nerd! <laughs>